everyone. Welcome to GRE question of the day. Today, we will discuss a question from one of the most fundamental concepts of GRE mathematics, that is number properties. To begin with, today's question is a question of quantitative comparison, wherein there are three consecutive prime numbers, namely F, G, and H, such that F is always less than G, while G is always less than H. Next, we are given two quantities, A and B, such that A is the sum of the three consecutive prime numbers, that is F, G, and H, while B is three times the second consecutive prime number, that is G. Next, we are asked to determine if A is greater than B in all cases, that is option one, or if B is greater than A in all cases, that is option number two, or if the two quantities A and B are equal, that is option number three, or if the relationship cannot be determined from the information given. Before we proceed with the solution for this question, I would like to request all of you to pause this video at this instant and try solving this question on your own. In case you couldn't do it, please do not lose hope since I'm here to help you out with this question. Let us check out the answer for this question and then we will go into how so to solve this question. As you can see, the correct answer is option four. Now, how do we solve this question? So, since there is no hard and fast rule as to the sum of three consecutive prime numbers, we have to substitute values for F, G, and H and compute the quantities A and B and then compare them to arrive at a possible relationship between the two quantities. So, let us begin by choosing f equals to 2. Let us call this case 1. Since f equals to 2, we know g and h must be equals to 3 and 5. Since they are three consecutive prime numbers. So, in this case, a must be equal to 2 plus 3 plus 5, that is 10 while b is equal to 3 times 3, that is 9. Hence, in case 1, we see that a is greater than b. So, after case 1, we can successfully eliminate options 2 and 3, since we know that they do not hold in at least one case. Next, we need to determine if A is always greater than B in all other cases for option one to be the correct option. To do this, let us assume F as the second lowest prime number, that is three. Now for case two, F is equal to three. Hence G and H must be equal to five and seven. So, in case 2, A must be equal to 3 plus 5 plus 7, that is 15, while B is equal to 3 times 5, that is 15. Hence, in case 2, A and B are equal. Thus, we see that option 1, that is A greater than B, fails for case 2, that is at least we know there is one case wherein A is not greater than B. And hence, we can successfully eliminate option one as well to give us the final answer as option four. I hope you guys enjoyed the solution. But in case you couldn't follow the solution, please pause the video at this instant and see the detailed text solution here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will be back with more Jerry question of the day videos. Until then, keep studying. Thank you and all the best.